Hello everyone, let's do more integration by parts today. We have this integral here where we have in the integral of ln of x over the square root of x. And so this doesn't look like a product, it's actually a quotient. We have ln of x divided by the square root of x, but we can rewrite it as a product so that we can use the integration by parts to integrate this function. Okay, so how do we write it? We can, we can write that as, uh, so we, we have the integral. And now let's just look at this square root of x here. It's actually 1 over the square root of x times ln of x, right? And so what happens is that this square root of x at the bottom, you can write it in the power form, which is actually just 1 over x to the 1 half, and then times ln of x. And so <clears throat> from there, uh, if you move it to the top, you can use the rules of exponents. You can take the reciprocal, which would be x to the negative one half ln of x. So now that becomes a product. So let's write that. And we have x to the negative one half ln of x and then dx. Okay. <clears throat> now, since it's a product, we can now try integration by parts technique and see what's going on. Okay, so we are going to set up our UE table here. We have U equals here and then DU and then B and then DV. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what's going on. Uh, we usually let U be the power function. And so we are just going to just try that experience and see what's going on. So if we let U be X to the negative one half and then we let DV be ln of X DX. Um, you can see that we actually will run into a problem here because we need to find the antiderivative of the ln x. Okay, so if you know the antiderivative of the ln x, you can continue to do the problem. But if you don't remember, then then you need to figure that out first. So that means you need to find a way to integrate ln of x. And it just happens that the integral of ln of x also requires you to use integration by parts to integrate. So we are we don't really want to use another we don't really want to do another integration by parts just to find the V so that we can finish our integration by parts right here. Okay, so forget it, right? So we switch, we switch and see what's going on. Okay, so we are going to let U be L of X. Um it may get worse, but at least we we can differentiate ln of x, which is nice, right? And so that means we have to put our dv as x to the negative one half times dx. So we put that here. And so we have x to the negative one half and then the dx. Okay, so now quickly we can differentiate the ln of x, which will give us one over x and then dx, or you can simply put that as x to the minus one, but it's it's up to you. I, It's my habit to just put it as one over x. Okay, <clears throat> we want to find the antiderivative of x to the negative one half. So using the power rule, we can add one to this power here, right? So we are going to get x to the x to the one half, right? You add one. And then don't forget that you need to multiply by the reciprocal of whatever power, whatever new exponent that you have here, right? So we multiply by the by the reciprocal of the one half, which is just the two. Okay, so we get this. And now we're ready to go with the integration by parts formula. So we are going to write down this right hand side. And we have, let's see what we are going to get. We have u times v. So we are going to take the u, ln of x, and then v, 2x, uh, to the one half, so we multiply them together, which will give us ln of x and then times 2x to the one half. For this x to the one half right here, you can also change it to a square root of x. I will just do it later. Okay, now minus, let me change the color so that will match with the formula here. So we have minus the integral of what the v which is 2x to the one half so we get 2x to the one half here and then we are hoping that this function is easy to integrate or we can integrate directly at least if it's not easy okay so we have du here du is 1 over x dx so we put that here so 1 over x dx 
still looks like a product, but we can actually put x to the one half times one over x as just x to some exponent. So we can integrate this one. We can actually see that we can integrate. So we just need to use some algebra to simplify this expression right here. Okay, next step. Next step would be to just clean up some expression right here. We have, um, <clears throat> let me see. We have two, right? We have this two and then the square root of X. So we have square root of X. And then we also have the ln of X, right? So we have ln of X. And then now minus, minus. Okay, so that two will come out of the integral, right? You you don't need to worry about this two. So we have two and then the integral. Now, this one is X to the one half times one over X. Let's put the problem aside and then we are going to simplify this expression. So we have X to the one half times one over X. You can actually put that as X to the one half and then, well, you can put that as x to the one half over x. So see what's going on here? We have, um, when we do not put, when we do not put any exponent here, we assume that's a one, right? So according to the law of exponent, you can actually do what, you can actually write this as x to some exponent. What is that exponent? you take the top exponent minus the bottom exponent. So you're having one half minus one, which is actually just what X to the negative one half and then DX. Okay, so now we can erase our scratch work. Uh, see what's going on here. We just need to integrate this one. Can we integrate this one? Yes, of course, right? We actually just did that when we were finding the V from the DV. So we just, just need to copy this answer and then put it here. Okay, so next step, we are going to get two square root of X, ln of X, and then minus two, right? We have this two here, minus two. And then now this integral would be two X to the one half. So we'll just put that here. So we have two X to the one half. Okay, so just clean up the answer a little bit and then we can find the final answer, right? I mean, th that's already the final answer. So we just need to write it down. So we have two square root of X, ln of X minus four, square root of x, right? That's x, that comes from x to the one half. And then we also need the uh, the constant integration. So we have plus c. Okay, so that's it for this one. We only need to do it one time. And so that's that's not too bad. This function actually, if it involves the ln and then some power of dx, usually that's pretty easy. And we can use the same idea, same process here to find the antiderivative the ln. So in that uh, of the ln x. So in that case, we are going to do it next time. And and also next time I want to do the same one with the tablet method and see how it compare with this process here. Okay, so that's it. So see you next time. Thank you for watching.